The Inquisition paid the English garrison a ransom to get to Hugo and Amicia. Luckily, Amicia and the boy managed to escape the camp with the unexpected help of the two young raiders they met earlier, Millie and her brother Arthur. He stayed behind to create a diversion. Do you know where we're going? Right now, we have to hide. Arthur and I know a place. And Lucas, he's waiting at your chateau. All in good time. We're going to see Lucas again? <laughs> I hope so. I like Lucas. He's nice. Save your breath, Hugo. We're on the right track. Let's keep moving. We're not safe yet. Welcome back. Would you mind moving on? Oh, sorry. Tell me, what the hell are you doing with the Inquisition after you? What's so special about the little guy? It's complicated. And what about your brother? Will he be all right? He'll catch up with us. He really saved our lives. It was incredible. Hey, don't get all lovey-dovey. He'll break your poor little heart. Um, I, uh, no. Hey, I'm in. Yeah, we're going to use it to cross. What? Oh, what are those birds? Ducks. Oh, like the ones we eat? Yes. And they eat frogs. That's life. Uh, come on, it's not a good idea to stay here. Is he always like that? He hasn't seen much of the world. This isn't the best moment to start. First one to the middle is... Hey, slow down! It's closed. I'll do it. It's open. Oh, a big wheel. It's for crushing the wheat. It's too strong. How are we going to get across? By stopping it. And how are you going to stop it? Amicia, we'll find a way. Over to you, Melly. All right. The current's slowing down, but not enough. There must be something else. Hugo, can you take care of it? Yes. <gasps> it's working! Yay! All we have to do now is cross over. Amicia, you're not leaving without me, are you? I'm coming, Hugo. I'm just trying to find a way to get you across. <laughs> you sound like Arthur. Mm. Hold on. Good. Go on, Hugo. All right. There are several solutions to get everyone across. Just one that I came up right now. Stop. Yes. And there you go. See? Simple. If the Inquisition make it this far, that'll hold them up for a while. A different dialogue for every solution that you find. Is 
see, we upgraded two things at the last bench. And now we can't upgrade one. We're missing too many materials for sling upgrades. And also the ammo bag is out of the question. If we had one more fabric, we could have upgraded the Tirai. I think I've collected all the upgrade items and I'm still one fabric short, so what can you do? Well spotted. Thanks. Come on, Melly. We're going to try and get up. All right. We'll be back soon, I promise. <laughs> hmm. Not much here. Oh, what is it? A horseshoe. Wow. We're rich. We may not be rich, but a little luck would be appreciated. <laughs> if luck was found under horses' hooves, then farriers would rule the world. As quality of life improves, population size grows faster than food production. Added to the various plagues befalling the crops, this makes famine take on a dramatic dimension, pushing poor and rich to superstition. Despite their new role as good luck charms, horse shoes are still expensive pieces of ironwork that are crucial to farming. Using them to attract luck is a major sacrifice for a farmer. We'll... go... through here! Come on! You trying to impress me or what? No. All right, come on. It's pretty here, and it smells like earth. The Anky Duck, is that where Lucas is? I hope so. I doubt this castle is going to look like much. Why? This used to be a village, but it was reduced to rubble in just one night, years ago. Some say there's a curse around these parts. Monsieur? She's joking, Hugo. Of course I am. Since when do I say anything true, eh? Do people live here then? Yes, but they left. Where did they go? Somewhere else. A bit like us? Yes, a bit like us. You know what that is? Hawthorn, I think. Nobody likes it because of the thorns, but it's good for the heart. <laughs> well, aren't you a fount of knowledge? Mummy taught me. You can teach me then. And will you teach me how to use the sling? It's a deal. A thorny bush used to mark out the borders of gardens and properties, Hawthorn has become a symbol of cautious hope. It is the subject of many legends, the most prestigious of which depicts it as Christ's crown of thorns. When ingested as an infusion, it regulates the heartbeat and combats shortness of breath. What were you up to? Just a detour. Hugo, what are you doing? Come here. Oh. What's wrong with him? We're nearly there. Melly, wait. <laughs> Hugo? Hugo, look at me. Is it starting again? Your head? It's like 
like. Somebody's going in sight. My legs, my legs are shaking. Don't say he's been bitten. It's not the bite, it's something in his blood since he was little. I'll have to carry him. Climb on my back if you can. Come on. Sorry. Don't worry. If it's in his blood, what about you? I'm fine. Lucas is trying to slow the effects down. That's also why we're going to the chateau. Amicia, I'm scared. Of what, Hugo? What's in my head? Don't worry. We're all scared of what's in our heads. Here we are. You'll be able to rest. At last. Help me lift this. I'm coming. Hugo, can you climb down, please? Uh, is this your house? It's a hideout, lad. It's meant for hiding out, not banquets with lords and ladies. Don't touch that. It's my brother's. That's worth a lot, that is. How long have you been living like this? Like ruffians and beggars, you mean? Family tradition. Our dad was a piece of rubbish. Tried to beat us one time too many, so we skedaddled. But you, you're almost royalty. Royalty? Huh. Monsieur. What does huh mean? I'm cold. Can't you see? Look at us. We've lost everything. What do you mean? Who's going to pay us then? What are you talking about? Your mate's Lucas. He said you're rich. Uh, Just I... forget it, all right? Take Arthur's straw mattress, and when he finally gets here, we'll have a proper discussion. So, see anything? No, nothing there. Hey, men! This way! I need some help! Where does that go? Outside. Yes. Just trust me. And your brother? He should have been here by now. Sorry. Don't give up on him just yet. Shit. Stay down. He has a helmet. Ah! Devorantes. What? Devorantes. Saltpeter and alcohol. It burns your face and melts steel. No one can keep their helmet on with that. Get some ready. All right. Finally, some ammunition that uses saltpeter. I think I'll craft a full stack. We'll need it. Go on, aim for the helmet. Serves him right. It's noisy. Try to be a bit more enthusiastic, will you? The girl has killed several of our boys. I don't give a shit if she's from a noble family or what. If I find her, any idea where the whetstones are? In one of the boxes. But it's an unholy mess in there. Shit, look, there's one with a helmet. You know what to do. Yes. What was that noise?
What's that? You see, if the soldiers are in earshot of one another, they can alert each other. So, isolating them, luring them away from their position, is usually a good idea. Unless you want to start a scrap. I'm sure. But do you think that Lord Nicholas gives a shit about your fucking wild boar after that fiasco at the Plantagenet camp? Search the area. Find Hugo the Rune and kill the others. Now! They're still looking for me. You see the lit portcullis over there? That's our way out. Listen, Amicia, you have the sling. So you go first. Hugo, you... Uh, keep a lookout. And stay quiet. All right. Understood. So Melly has the unfortunate habit to sometimes get out of cover and run around when we start aiming. cover while we sneak up to take out opponents. Keep searching. This part is a little bit risky.
You see some guards are ducking down or shielding their head with their limbs so it's hard to hit them I found it to be easier if you alert them and get their attention first before using the Devarantis and the rock if you can't get the angle on them, uh, like this guy. Or the lock-on is confused. What was that? Hey, there's move- You there! Oh, oh, oh. Hey, you! You just- ah! Might be a bit risky, but it gets the job done. should think himself lucky. If he didn't have information about the boy, he'd be little chunks of meat by now. Oh shit. Shit, shit, shit. <sighs> Melly, I'm... No. Later. If you don't have a pot, there's a pot here. We want to get this guy over to this tree to barely get out of hearing range from the guy in the tent. There's also another dialogue, but I don't know how to trigger it reliably, so... If we hadn't had to deal with the mess of the English camp, we'd have had them by now. Nicholas is gonna be furious. Someone's gonna get it in the neck. And Vitalis. You might think the captain of the guard is scary, but the old man? <laughs> Believe me. When he's disappointed, he burns people alive just to take his mind off it. He must be pretty damn special, young man, to merit all this nonsense. It's not my fault. And he's humble too. Crazy. Really. Sometimes reloading triggers it, sometimes it doesn't. Melly, get over here. Wait here. Of course. Go, go, all right. Wait here. And shh, better you than me. What the hell was that? This patrol so on the right side, those two are in hearing range of each other. So we 
Better make your companions wait here. Stay there. Not a sound. Also, we need to get the angle on this guy's head. And if the other one comes running, we have to get the uh, weapons ready to defend ourselves. Search the area. <laughs> We did it. Right. That's good. Coming. A map of the whole country. What are these bastards up to? Widespread among noble and learned circles. Maps are rare and expensive as well as imprecise. That is why practical and inexpensive directional signs proliferate at road intersections. The villages, sometimes located several days walk of each other, are ravaged by famine, war, and disease. It is through these same roads that the plague travels, accompanying the fleeing populations who follow the saying, leave quickly, go far, and come back late. left. sound this might alert the other guy too get the angle on his head. Get moving. I'm coming. Get them a little bit closer. Stay here. I want to move. So that Hugo doesn't start shouting. Will we'll see about that. Seems fine from here. Yes. Should have been all of them.
think I got all the items. On this part at least. I think. Hope. Nearly there. The portcullis is down. There's always a side entrance. Ah. Let's get out of here. Come on. Go ahead. So kind of you, Your Highness. Go on, get moving. What are you going to do to me? Careful. It's Lucas. The cart should be arriving soon with fresh supplies. They'll take you to the Inquisition Bastion in town. Amicia, do you have any practice left? Yes. Then go on. Knock his helmet off. Hey, who did that? Unbel your job. Ah! Oh. Hey, Lucas! I'm so glad to see you again. She said lots of bad words. I heard that. And what about you, Lucas? How are you? Uh, can we talk while we run? Or we can sit down with some wine and some roast chicken and wait for them to come and kill us? What do you reckon? You're right. Let's get going. The chateau shouldn't be far now. Let's go. Come on. It's not far to the aqueduct. Seems like we've been through some tough times. You don't say. You forgot to tell us about the Inquisition. You wouldn't have accepted the deal. The one where your friends are rich. But we'll sort it out. I'll tell my brother that. What's all this? An accident? An Inquisition cart. The rats. There must be things we can salvage from inside. I don't see how we can get past. Oh, Amicia, I have something for you. It's a byproduct of Ignifio. Luminosa. You'll, you'll throw it into a pile of rats and... Anyway, you'll see. Here, take it. Okay. Before we do, let's craft some other stuff. Amicia, take these. You won't get through without the Luminosa. Salt, beta, alcohol and leather. Mix them together. All right. Like some them. It's rather expensive, you can only carry one, and it takes one of the rare crafting materials as ingredients. Unlike some of them, there is several instances you need it to progress. Throw it to the rats! Luminosa. Uh, my eyes sting. Uh, it completely destroyed them. What? Lucas, the cart's packed full of our chemical material. Makes sense. The Inquisition. They couldn't have got as far as the macula without reading their chemical writings. I don't know what they're up to. But whatever it is, these cards will be useful. These cards will be useful. Alright, we just crafted a bunch of things. So, we would have had the ammunition bag open, but now it's just the Atirai again. And we need to get that anyway at some point, so why not get it now? <sighs> not bad. Not bad at all. The 
Lucky Duck. We're nearly there. Finally. We're going to find out at last. I'll help you up. All right. <laughs> Let's go up the Yucky Duck. Hugo, it's Aqueduct. Oh, Aqueduct. Aqueduct. Climb up. I'll help you. Mm-hmm. Nelly, where's your brother? I don't want to talk about it. Uh, all, all right. Where there's rocks... There's usually a clasp. <laughs> well spotted. Come on, get up there. Of course. What? Is that it? There's nothing here. Lucas, I... Don't tell me we've done all this for nothing. No, no, no. Laurentius was smarter than that. It's an alchemist's trick. Gold is born from lead. The door shall only reveal itself to the one who has the key. Something like that. Mm. I prefer use your eyes before using your mouth. Who's going first? A nice one. Uh, Amicia? Come on, then. We've come this far. That's my girl. Gold born from lead, my ass. <laughs> oh, bullshit. Oh, wow! Oh. Not bad. Is that the sea? N no, it's water that's collected underground. Hey, there's a pontoon. People used to use this place. We're on the right track. I've never heard of it before. And the chateau? Where is it? Well, if you want to know, we'll have to get across first. <laughs> well done. Reaction ferry. A what? A boat that's propelled by a rope. You pull it by hand. There's a hand crank. Melly, can you look after it? Lucas, come and help instead of sleeping. Uh, yes, yes. The water's green. Oh, that's because there are a lot of things living in it. They must be very cold. Once, Father took us to the lake at Tours, and I slipped and <laughs> fell in the water. It was so cold, it made me cry. <laughs> I would have cried too. Your boat awaits. Shall I get in? Yes, Hugo, get in. I hope they can swim. Hold on tight. There you go. Whoa. I can't see any fish. Oh, that's because of the monster. What? A monster? Of course. The underground lakes are magical. Huge, ancient monsters hide in their depths. And watch out, they're very hungry. No, they're not. And if there were monsters, we'd see some big bubbles. <laughs> you got me. Mummy used to say that monsters are just those things... those things to... Just those things to which we have never given a name. She told me that too. I would quite like to see a monster, actually. Right, this is where we get off. Oh, it was too quick. I know, but it's someone else's turn now. There are no monsters here, but there might be a whale. 
<laughs> a whale is big, you know. Yes, but a little one. Why not? A shy whale that doesn't want to show itself. It's shy because it's small. <sighs> I'm sure it's pretty. <sighs> Over to you! We're coming! It's all right. You can let go. Whoa, are you all right? Yeah, fine. I just don't like water much, that's all. Really, listen. I'm sorry I lied to you. I thought that the meteor and you got my die. I was scared. I forget it. It's all behind us now. But anything that takes my fancy at the castle is mine, all right? Fair enough. What were you saying? Things for grown-up ears. All right, let's keep going. Ah, uh, closed. Not for long. Make some room. Open. Oh, there you go. Of course. I hadn't missed them. What is this place anyway? It's... No, it can't be. I have to see this from closer up. That... That pit. What, Lucas? What's the matter? That hanging brazier can slide the length of the trench. Lucas! That one, the other way, and it's a defense system. Like a castle. Like a rat trap, protecting something. And? How does it work? Easy. The braziers push the rats towards the pit and they get trapped there. Could be useful. Who built it? I don't know, but it looks ancient. Come on, Lucas. Let's take a look. Right, Melly. While the boys are daydreaming, we should get going. Who built this? Some, uh, some knights, perhaps? I don't think knights know how to use stone and mortar. But craftsmen, no, and there are a lot of those. Lucas, it was built a long time ago, but the rats haven't been here for that long. You're right. That gives me goosebumps. Closed. Melly, can you open it? No. Maybe from the other side? Into the pit! We have to get to the other side. All right, come on. <clears throat> Climb up. I'll help you. Yeah. Right. I'll take care of the door. Come on! Cross over, you two. I don't see anything here, so... 
Can't fault their system. Let's go. Very efficient. Follow me. Yes. Another door. Maybe it's the right one. I just hope there are no rats behind it. Melly, need a little help here. On my way. Come on! I'm starting to get fed up of all these doors. We found it! The castle! Whoa. It really exists. Chateau d'Ambrage. It's amazing. I had a moment of doubt, but that... That's the sort of alchemist legend I like. Come on, let's take a closer look. Do it, Melly? Understood. It's done. Is that supposed to be the miracle remedy they talk about? <clears throat> it doesn't smell very good. A good remedy is a remedy that stinks. <laughs> You're not wrong. There is a particularly widespread legend of four thieves who found a way to plunder contaminated houses without being struck by evil themselves. When they were finally stopped, the robbers were promised not to be burned at the stake if they revealed their secret. They agreed, making the details of their mysterious recipe public, and were hanged on the spot. The effectiveness of their recipe remains highly questionable. I don't see how. Whoa! Did you see that? The lightning bolt. They're afraid of lightning. Let's try it. Are you kidding? Hugo. Get in, come on. Whoa. Huh. 
Incredible. Living quarters. It must be several centuries old. It looks like it's dry, but there's a pit in the way. It's full of rats. It's another trap. There has to be another way to get through. Locked. Can you do it? All right. This thing's really old. Oh, there was something alive in it. It's open. They all decided to meet here, it seems. Look, a brazier. Let's see if I can light it. So we can get the rats to move. Lucas, Hugo, stay out of the rain. We'll open up a path to the tower. All right. Come, Hugo. Ready, Melly? As long as we get them out of the way. Come on. The siege of Chateau d'Ambrage. Two girls versus thousands of rats. This battle will go down in history. <laughs> Look, they're moving. We should be able to reach the central section now. Yes, that's a good first step. I'll let you go first, because rats are your thing. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I feel better already. We're nearly there. I'm going to need Melly to push that. is coming back by itself. Melly, can you get to me? I'm coming. Can't wait to get up there. Look at them. Swarming like nobles at the king's court. But it's our castle. Right, those ones have to be driven into the pit too. And of course, they're on the wrong side of the brazier. I'm gonna have to go down and see what's there. All right, I'll cover you with the brazier. Let's light it first. I'm putting my life in your hands, you know. All in a day's work, milady. Whenever you're ready. Think you can do this? Understood. Wow! You can do it! A bit of grease! <laughs> Would you rather be down here? I'm fine. I'm just warming up. I'm at the edge. What do you see? More braziers! I can get up on the ramparts! We're going to make it. Hugo will be safe. We'll all be safe.
clearing the outer area. They're coming your way. All right. There are so many <sighs> of them. We'll never clear a path that way. Right. We need to clear the whole courtyard. Let's get on with it then. I'm already soaked anyway. <sighs> Done. The last sector now. I have to get back to the ladder. All right, here we go again. Have you done it? Yes. Are you all right, Hugo? I'm fine. Look at him shouting. <clears throat> Don't worry. The storm will drown out our voices. Soon we'll all get to see the tower. The bridge. We'd better lower it. And so, Misia the Amazon and Meli the Stealthy <coughs> conquered the Chateau d'Ambrage. Huh. You've read so many books. I. Come on. We still have to clean up the area down there. We're going to need a brazier from the ramparts. I'll cover you with this one. All right, I'm going down. Anything I've missed here? I'm so <clears throat> glad I have my notes up. Uh, uh, what is it? Nothing, it's just a crappy old lever. Melly, you always know the right thing to say. It's going to be all right. It's your castle. You have a connection. Our castle. Imagine, we could all live here together. I'm more of a stellar girl, you know. How am I going to get up there? But the damn rats are everywhere. Hear the Amazon. Tell them a story. Oh, very funny.
over here. I'm going to need you. I'm coming. All right. Here we go again. This is how you conquer a castle. This is how you get sick. No, not in my version of the story. Lives. Yes, Laurentius was right. To celebrate our victory, would you mind if we get out of the rain, please? Right, to the tower! Yes, come over to the fire and warm up. It's huge! We'll have time to explore tomorrow. This is our home now. <laughs> <laughs> 